Well, let me introduce you to software architecture. This uh, lecture, which will be broken into um, short segments and given as a playlist, uh, we'll, I'll go through um, what is architecture and why bother with it. Why don't I you know, just throw it away? Um, why is it so hard? What's so difficult about creating an architecture? What can you do to become a good architect? Um, what, what makes good architects? Is there a difference between them? And I'll talk briefly about the common challenges of software architecture. Uh, for books, uh, I can't recommend um, any one of them as being the definitive word on, on software architecture. There are four that I have myself, and these are the Software Architecture Primer by John Rickey and Ron Adam. Um, they developed this subject, actually, uh, many years ago at UTS, and the, this was the book that they wrote uh, to support the lectures. So it's a fairly good introduction to the subject. The classic that just about everybody um, cites as the book on software architecture is Software Architecture in Practice. I have the second edition, but I gather there's a third edition out now that has some minor modifications to it. Now this, this book by Bass, Clements and Kasman, uh, these three all work for the Software Engineering Institute in Carnegie Mellon University, where Mary Shaw runs a, a very good subject on software architecture. So they, they knew their stuff, and it's a pretty good book. Um, from um, another local one is uh, Ian Gordon, Essential Software Architecture. Ian works for NICTA, the National ICT Australia uh, Development um, Concern, I'm not sure what you'd call it. Um, and he wrote this book about um, software architecture, mostly out of frustration at seeing it done so wrong so frequently. And it's full of very good practical advice. The uh, fourth one is one I've uh, only bought this year, it's by Hassan Gomar, and um, it's called Software Modeling and Software Modeling and Design. Um, it has a slightly different take on uh, software architecture than the others. Um, he, treats, uh, he treats the whole thing more or less as um, an extension of software modeling. Nevertheless, it has some very good um, uh, very good information in it and some very good um, perspectives, I guess you'd call them. So they're the four books that I use. Now, as well, I tend to follow um, Qcon.com, uh, who have a whole lot of discussions, uh, or InfoQ.com. Um, they have a whole lot of discussions. I get a, an email about once a week about um, the new presentations that are being done. And they keep records, or they keep recordings of their uh, conference presentations and uh, make these publicly available. Some of them are just terrific uh, on specialized subjects in software engineering. So I really would encourage you to have a look at uh, infoq.com and uh, hunt around there and you'll find a whole lot of presentations on uh, software architecture and architecture related subjects. Not all of them are presentations. I mean, we're talking about conference presentation, usually about 40 minutes with uh, maybe 10 minutes for questions or something. Uh, some of them are articles, um, just printed articles, uh, written articles, so they're pretty good. But it's a really excellent source of information about uh, topical um, matters concerning uh, software architecture.